Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to episode 154 of the Top 10 Sports Card Polls of the Week presented by PSA. I hope you guys had a phenomenal weekend, and I hope you guys have a fantastic week this week. You're already starting off on the right foot by being right here with me, so thank you so much for joining. It took a poll of $7,500, which seems low, which is weird to say because that is a lot of money. We do have three honorable mentions that we will show that just missed out on the top 10 this week. I know you guys are going to enjoy this one, so make sure to click that like button for me. But before we get into it, I need to remind you guys that PSA's June specials are coming to an end. You have exactly one week to get those in because next Monday is the first and these will be gone. So if you do happen to be sitting on some of those big boy cards or you do pull one here over the course of the next week, you can quickly get that submitted and take advantage of their express and super express specials. They also have a Pokemon and ticket dual crossover special. And if you missed it last week, I announced that I am part of the PSA affiliate program. They just launched it. I'm one of the first ones, which I'm very happy to be so. And some of you did take advantage of the link that I have below. And you know, all you gotta do is create a new account, submit a submission and I get a little kickback from PSA. So thank you guys so much for you who did take advantage of that. Thank you so very much. Obviously it doesn't cost you guys anything, but it helps me out for doing something you guys are going to do anyway. So again, thank you very much. And lastly, before we get into it, I'm always curious, what are you guys pulling out there? I know everyone's not pulling big cards like the ones you're going to see today and everyone's not even recording them, which you should because you can't get on the show if you're not. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below. Everyone else likes to read those too. But let's get into it. Dude, 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 dude. Oh my god. Dual no, autograph Victor Wembenyama CJ Stroud. Seven of ten. Let's Absolutely go, insane hit. <laughs> this is the Victor Wembenyama CJ Stroud Let's Play Ball Dual Auto number 7 out of 10. And I have this at an estimated $5,000 based on the $4,500 sale of the 2 out of 10 that sold as a best offer on eBay. But card ladder values at about $5,000 now. I think since this is Stroud's jersey number, it could get a slight bump in value, but Wemby's jersey number will be more sought after. It is crazy that the only opportunity we have to get either of these guys' autographs right now is through baseball products. Who saw that coming? Our second honorable mention for this week comes from Soccer Breakers FC, who break here on YouTube, and they were opening 2023-24 Select La Liga Soccer. Run? Yeah, walk off on run. Oh. All right, there's a Nico Paz, our last spot's grab. Goal! Golazo, golazo, golazo! Juan de Juan, la niña ma, holy crap! OMG exclamation point. Who got him in this one? I'm speechless. Who's got y'all? Carlos. Let's go. Vamos, Carlos. This is the Lamine Yamal rookie mezzanine black one of one. And I have this at an estimated $6,000 based on what his green out of five and gold out of 10 sold for earlier this month. After a few weeks of not making it on this show, the 16-year-old Barcelona star sneaks on as an honorable mention. And in that time, he has become the youngest men's Euro player playing for Spain, and he scored a goal in his debut. That's pretty cool. And our third and final honorable mention for this week comes from Cardboard47, who breaks over on Whatnot, and Yosef was opening 2022 Flawless Football. Good luck, guys. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes! Come on! Yo! Yes! Oh! Come on! Oh! Yes! This card is easily number one in my book, but this list is value driven. So this is the Brock Purdy Christian McCaffrey 
Debo Samuel and George Kittle, quad NFL shield, one of one. And I have this at an estimated $7,000, but it is really anyone's guess as to what this is worth. I could not find anything comparable for this card as it is only one of five of these in the product. But I am sure there are many Niner fans out there who would love to add this to their PC, myself included. But my wife would probably kill me. So instead of talking about that, let's jump into the top 10 polls of the week. Kicking us off at number 10 this week is Case Breaks, who break over on Whatnot, and they were opening 2023 Topps Chrome Sapphire F1 Racing. It's not the auto. Wow, but fuck. Lewis Hamilton! Let's go! This is the Lewis Hamilton Sapphire Selection Superfractor 1 of 1, and I have this at an estimated $7,500, which is about three times more than what the last red sale, which was this 5 out of 5, that sold at eBay auction back in April as a PSA 7. I am recording this prior to the Spanish Grand Prix, but I would love to see Hamilton finish first in a race once again. His last win came on December 5th of 2021 which is crazy. At number nine, we are back with Cardboard 47, but this time with Mamba Cards still on Whatnot, and he was opening 2018-2019 Flawless Basketball. Just going to hold the top and remove the keys without revealing. Thank you. Thank you. Got it, bro. Appreciate it. Here we go, child. Let's go, baby. No way. Child, one-on-one logo man on the rip. <laughs> yeah, mother Who do you think we are, man? Are you kidding me? Kyrie Logo Man 101. BS. This is the Kyrie Irving Logo Man 1 of 1, and I have this at an estimated $8,500, which is a guess based on what this 2017 Flawless Logo Man, which included an autograph, sold for a couple of weeks ago on eBay as a PSA 8. Had the Mavs won the NBA Finals, this estimation could look a lot different. At number 8, we are back with Leighton Sports Cards, this time with Sam, still breaking on YouTube, and he was opening 2023-24 Optic Basketball. Are you ready? Gold Alter Ego, Victor Wembenyama oh for the Spurs, 5 oh, of 10. Really? Holy cow, dude. I could not wait to see it with the spaceship wow. in the back. San Antonio, Robert G. Holy cow, man. 5 of 10. Victor Wembenyama. Dude, what a fun day this has been. This is the Victor Wembenyama Rookie Alter Ego Gold, numbered 5 out of 10, and I have this at an estimated $12,500, which is a little bit more than the 10 k value I put on the Wemby Slammy Gold insert last week, which I still think is pretty accurate given these base sales that occurred this past week, and the golds are doing about 3.5 times more than the base. There were no sales of Wemby's Alter Egos inserts yet, but there has honestly only been a few to sell so far from the entire product, and Jokic is the only one who has had a sale from both inserts. And his Alter Ego went for 25% more, which seems pretty drastic, but this is a really small sample size. At number 7, we are with Bless Sports Cards, who break here on YouTube, and Jags was opening 2023-20. Uh, Kobe, to 20, 1 of 20. That is insane. Shut up. Jersey number, Victor Wimbinyama, Cherry Blossom. I guess that's just what we do with choice. As for Nathan Andy, Jersey number, Cherry Blossom, Victor Wimbinyama. Wow. This is the Victor Wembenyama Rookie Cherry Blossom Choice, number 1 out of 20, and I have this at $15,000 based on the most recent sale of this card, which was a PSA 10 and sold for much less than the one one and a half months prior. I would typically estimate a raw value to be at least half of what a PSA 10 sells for, but the jersey number is going to command quite the premium from Wembenyama. At number six, we're with Filth Bomb Breaks, who break over on Fanatics Live, and they were opening 2024 Bowman Sapphire Baseball. 
Papa. Second pop of the day. We got our pot of buddies. It is oh! so nasty. One on one, Walker Jenkins, Papa Dasha, first Bowman Auto. Yeah. Wow. There it is. There it is. Over. Way to stay with me, baby. This is the Walker Jenkins first Bowman Pad Paracha Auto 1 of 1, and I have this at an estimated $15,500, which is a guess based on what his Red Lava out of 5 auto sold for a little over a month ago as a best offer. Next to the Dylan Cruz version of this card, this is the second best card in the Sapphire set. This was immediately delivered to PSA, and it received a grade of Gem Mint 10. That is fantastic. At number 5, we are with Lucky 1 of 1 card who is a Chinese breaker who breaks on the Hobby Stocks app. Shout out to Alex for getting me this clip. This is a poll from 2023-24 Prism Basketball. This is the Scoot Henderson Rookie True Black Finite 1 of 1, and I have this at an estimated $17,500 based on what his Prism Black Shimmer 1 of 1 recently sold for as a PSA 9, which was actually the second time it has been sold. The True Black Finite Prism is the biggest card in the product, so it should do quite a bit more. At number 4, we are back with Cardboard47 and Mamba Cards who break over on Whatnot and he was opening 2017-2018 Flawless Basketball. That is going today's spot. No way. No way. No way! Curry! Jenny Jim Tech! 1 out of 2! Yo! UGA Chip! That is f***ing massive! This is the Stephen Curry Championship Tags number 1 out of 2, and I have this set an estimated $20,000, which is honestly just my best guess on this one. Curry has had a Championship Tag auto sale within the last year, and I am guessing that this one will do about half that. At number 3, we are with Bleacher Hoops who break over on whatnot, and they were opening 2017-2018 Immaculate Basketball. Oh my god, we have an absolute monster. We have a monster. We have a really big monster. Logo Man 101 Jokic! Holy smokies! Holy goodness gracious! Oh my god, that's disgusting. Holy smokes, bruh. This is the Nikola Jokic Logo Man Auto 1 of 1, and I have this at an estimated $37,500, which is a guess based on what Vince Carter's version of this car actually recently sold for, and comparing their 2023 Prism sales, Joker should do about 3.5 to 4 times more than Vince Carter. The best part of it all is that the person who hit this card paid just $15 for the spot in the break. How lucky is that? At number two, we are with Pine Tar Breaks, who break here on YouTube, and they were opening 2023 Topps Chrome Update Baseball. This was a Breakers Delight Box, and this is a card many of us have been long awaiting for it to be pulled. Check this out. Okay, this is not a cookie, right? No one's going to take a bite out of this card. Okay, this is the Anthony Volpe MLB Debut Patch Auto 1 of 1. And I have this at $150,000, which is the bounty that was put out on this card back in March by Dave and Adams Card World, which they have communicated since that they are still willing to pay that. In today's day and age, these big chase cards usually don't last this long, especially when they have six-figure bounties placed on them, which sends people into a frenzy trying to pull them. That said, would you take the 150 k bounty, or would you sell us on the open market, or would you hold on to the card? 
it's never an easy decision, but it's also not a bad decision to have to make. But it is now time to see who t- and what took down the top spot in this week's Top 10 Sports Card Polls of the Week. Taking down the number one spot this week is Wax and Pax, who break over on TikTok, and they were opening 2023-24 Optic Back. Check this out. Can he buy a house with this card? Yes. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm just going to do it. Oh, my God. 101 Gold Vinyl Wimby. 101 Gold Vinyl Wimby. Wolf, you just made $100,000 or more. Oh, my God. The biggest card in the entire hobby. Product killed. Absolutely oh. killed. We just destroyed Optic. This is the Victor Wembenyama rated rookie gold vinyl one of one. And I have this at an estimated $250,000, which is what I am told the initial offers were for this card and would be about half of what his Prism Black Shimmer one of one sold for. Honestly, This seems like an incredible amount of money for a card from this product, but remember, he does not have any autos in this product, so this is really as good as it gets for Wembenyama. The highest sales from Optic are both autographs from these two guys, who you may have heard of, and just a couple of weeks ago, Jason Tatum's Optic Gold Vinyl sold for just under $27,000. Are you telling me Wemby is worth 10 times more than Jason Tatum? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Man, I'm still thinking that 49ers quad shield should have made the top 10 list. I don't know. Maybe I'm just biased. What do you guys think? Let me know what your favorite poll was or your favorite reaction to any one of these polls. And I want to give a huge thank you to everyone who submitted polls for this episode. I could not make these without you guys. Obviously, there's a ton of awesome content creators out there, breakers, people just opening cards. I cannot see every single one of those. So I rely on you guys to help me out. I also want to give a huge thank you to PSA for their continued support of this series. Make sure to take advantage of those June specials because they're gone after Sunday. And last but not least, thank you to the IFAM for your support via the membership program right here on YouTube. Again, I hope you guys have a fantastic week and good luck with your polls. I cannot wait to see what big cards are pulled in the hobby over the course of the next week and join me next week to find out. Until then, be smart, be safe, and be humble. Ian out.